Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm an occupational therapist and former iWalk 3.0 user as I recovered from a broken foot. I want to come on here and set some realistic expectations of what it's like to use the iWalk 3.0 for your lower leg injury or surgical recovery. First, the iWalk 3.0 was an incredible tool while I was recovering from my broken foot. I was able to do things I never expected to do while recovering. Things like chase after my kids, keep up with my animals, keep up with housework, walk up and down stairs with ease, all because I had this tool available to me. But I did learn a lot while I was using it, and I want to share that. First, it's important to remember that Compared to normal walking, any mobility aid is going to have some limitations. Things like effort, efficiency, and comfort might all have to be compromised a little bit during that recovery process. But once you get around the fact that these are going to happen, you can move forward with putting in the effort to be able to use it and be as independent as possible. First, I want to talk about how quickly I was able to adjust to using the iWalk. Within the first hour of having it on and sized properly, I was up and walking. I was able to do main floor activities and even stairs within that first day. I didn't start doing the higher level functional tasks until about a week later, but for the most part, individuals find that it's really quick to adjust to. Let's talk about comfort. The iWalk 3.0 was by far the most comfortable mobility solution of all the ones I tried, but I did have to make some minor adjustments to mine due to some anatomical differences of my knee. I added just a little bit of memory foam, and with that, I was able to use the iWalk comfortably for several hours at a time. The great news was I was able to use customer support to make those changes so that I could use the iWalk for my needs. When it comes to effort and fatigue, I found that the iWalk required a little bit of adjustment. Within the first few days, I was feeling a lot of soreness in my hips, mostly because I was doing new movements that my body wasn't used to. It was like doing a new exercise at the gym. But again, within a few days, like everything else, I adjusted and I was no longer sore and was able to use it for long periods of time. One early frustration I had was getting used to using the straps. I had to take them on and off several times throughout the day while I got up from different surfaces. But like everything else with the iWalk, I was able to adjust to that relatively quickly, and by the end, it was almost automatic of removing and putting the straps back on. Overall, I just want to say that the iWalk 3.0 was an incredible mobility aid for my recovery process. As an occupational therapist, I recommend it all the time, and I truly believe compared to standard mobility aids like crutches and walkers and knee scooters, it provides you the most functionally independent recovery. In summary, if you meet the requirements for using the iWalk and are willing to put in the time and effort it requires to become proficient at using it and maintain those realistic expectations, the iWalk will be a phenomenal tool for you to be able to maintain your highest level of independence throughout the recovery process. It certainly was for me.